20 Celsius. That's uh, around 58 Fahrenheit in the greenhouse. Hi guys, we just got back from a, a quick getaway to the subtropics and uh, coming to check our babies first thing as soon as we um, checked in. So it looks like uh, at a quick glance everything is okay except for the usual suspects. There's one right there that's the uh, the sugar apple of course. Look at him that's how he was last year too but he came back in summer. Wow can you believe it that's under full protection and that's what he's got to show for himself. The next uh, sook that looks sad is the sand hole but that's not surprising. I was kind of expecting this from the sand hole. Um, hopefully he'll get new leaves. It actually, it looks like he does have new leaves. They're at the um, at the top. Can't see too well. I'm a bit far behind. But uh, wow, check out his old leaves. Pretty um, pretty sad case, but they're running leaves, right? Shouldn't have to worry. And uh, what else? Who else is a sook? Looks like the Kaimito needs a bit of water. See how dry the leaves are under here? Look at that. Dry. Dry. Sorry guys. I'm doing my best without any help. And who else? Oh yeah. The um, <clears throat> the Achachairu. Achacha at the back. Is looking a little dry and sad as well okay but again they're just leaves the the rest of the plant looks incredibly healthy look at that on the side there hang on look at those beautiful leaves on the left and on the right sorry I can't do a better job I'm all the way out of the uh, the greenhouse but yeah um, everything else looks pretty happy pretty happy without going through each individual plant right Sapodilla Rolinia check out the Rolinia I never had such a luck with the Rolinia um, last July or last winter it was it, it was sadder than the uh, the Santol so this greenhouse in this location with this variety of uh, Rolinia which is the Piconi has uh, brought us better results than um, the one that ended up here in the ground the the regular Rolinia so the jackfruit looking good right and jackfruits down here looking good these are grafted no way are they going out of here everything's gonna be babied once you learn your lesson guys you don't repeat it check out the uh, allspice with its new growth wow and the um, reed avocado and good news the uh, the other avocado that dropped all its leaves last summer because I had it in the wrong position is also coming back with new growth um, the choquette have a look at the choquette see the new growth that's coming all along the choquette yeah so good news good news everywhere even the uh, abu is happy which it wasn't last year but it's still early days we have to wait till the end of october that's the big test not june right june is first test and it's always easy see look what's going on the real test is july guys check back four weeks from now with the uh, abu let's see if it's still shiny green like it is today look nice huh yeah and uh, the three lychees here including the little suki suki but uh, I'm pretty happy I'm more than happy there's the uh, la cucha back there the monkey jack looking pretty good 
that one there. And uh, what's his name back there? Oh, gosh, um, the Madrono, lemon drop mangosteen. Back there looking pretty good too. Yeah, everyone's good. Oh wow, look at the um, the uh, Mamey Sapodi in the corner. Wow, but uh, the star apple is not as good looking. But it's known to drop its leaves, right? Yeah, at least it's looking alive and uh, looks like it's got a few new leaves that they came last month. So overall, I'm very, very pleased with uh, absence and uh, Barbados cherry. Let's see if he's got any aphids. The aphids love the Barbados cherry. Mm, nope, not that I can see. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. I wonder if these Relinia will come in, if anything will come of uh, these little uh, Relinia flowers that have been hanging on there now for three, four months. Or are they just teasing me? Huh? What's this? This one is ready to come off. Come on, it's all burnt out. See how brown he is? Yeah, there, he, there you are, you little tease. What are you doing to me? That's what a Rolinia flower looks like, guys. Unpollinated, of course. So he's no good to anyone. Goodbye. But there's one left, and it's very healthy, with a nice green stem, not brown. See that? Nice. Anyway, looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Thank you very much, greenhouse. Huh? Loop house. Call it what you want. Alrighty. So what I do now is I give it sea salt, right? A conditioner to not only water in some of the dry spots in the pots, but uh, the leaves too. I give everything a soak of sea salt, which I do every two or three weeks in winter. And uh, let's do it now. So this is the trick. There is a different version of this in your country seaweed solution and sometimes it's a, a fish emulsion which is more of a, a fertilizer so that's what I use just fill up the bucket here and off we go you can use this on anything and everything especially on sooks but I don't use this on uh, the hardy plants never only the sooks so that's how we do it. Nice and wet. Yep, it's like having a childcare center. Same thing. These are babies. They can't look after themselves because they're not in their native habitat. This is not their natural home plus i've given them a completely unnatural home which means more work for me right hi so i've done the uh the deed now for the month about once a month you can do it twice a month but i think once a month is enough of um sea sol for the um the sooks that's what a sook looks like. Look at that. This is a lychee. Lychee. They'll, they come good. Around uh, November, December. They start coming back to, to shine again. It's like they went and had uh, plastic surgery. So now I get the second can of sea salt. And I give it to the other um, tropicals here. 
these are a little bit hardier like loquat macadamia white sapote jabuticaba star fruit um longan these ones can tolerate the cold the cold a lot better than than those in there tell you what they're like um extremely sensitive so 10 15 minutes later look at the temperature how it dropped because of the the flap being open see that it went from 20 celsius to 13 to 54 fahrenheit yep in only that little time because this is open see the difference the the greenhouse makes so once again so that we fully understand what is going on here in case you're new to the channel or you jumped in without seeing the bigger picture this is all about um, getting all the, the the sensitive tropicals hardened or acclimated or used to uh, a cooler climate guys that's what this is all about this uh or all these experiments that i'm doing with uh the impossible canastel mame um avocados jackfruit and all these dailies here i did all the uh the seedlings myself from seeds so that's what's going on with these greenhouses they're getting acclimated yeah i'm cheating in this greenhouse because this is another experiment an experiment within an, within an experiment i'm running a heater here for this greenhouse only to see if it makes any difference and let's have a look well, well the flap's been open now for half an hour the temperature would have dropped let's have a look um hang on so in here with the greenhouse it's uh just over 13 celsius <laughs> a lot uh, cooler than the other greenhouse was without heating so i'm not really cheating at all am i yep all right guys so you got the idea now you know what's going on i'm gonna come back with a part two on the mango greenhouse thanks for watching we'll catch you soon